Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration on setting up VS Code to work with C Sharp in Linux. The distribution I'm using is Ubuntu, so it should work the same on any Debian based distribution. So you can search Visual Studio Code, go straight to the download page, download the deb. Once the Debian file is downloaded, <coughs> we can go into our terminal to install it. So just ls cd into the downloads folder, right, then sudo apt install dot forward slash code. So that pity and salt. Oh, what There we go. Let's give it a few moments to finish. That's the install finished, so now I can just load it up. Okay, so what we're looking for is to open a folder to start with. So file, open folder. Uh, I've got a nice demo folder here ready. We need some extensions next. Um, we're going to start with the C Sharp. So this is the most important one. This is the essential one to add C Sharp compatibility for Microsoft. But we're also going to add in XAML documents, docs. We're going to add in extensions. That just lets you add nice comments. We're going to add in using statements and namespaces. None of those are essential. The only essential one is this one. However, these extensions I'm installing are all on the blog, so you don't have to find them. But as you can see, I'm just searching. Install that there like this. Okay, now that these are all installed, I can see the list here. If I come to this solution, create solution, it'll ask me for a name. I'm just going to call it a demo, hit the return key. And we have a nice new solution. If you have problems with this button, which I've seen, it seems to be when there's certain configurations within VS Code that aren't quite right, you might have to do that last bit manually. But all it's done is do, typed in .NET new SLN and it's giving it a name. So all you do, if that button didn't work, you come up to Terminal, New Terminal, .NET new SLN. I'm not going to hit it now, but it would do exactly the same thing. It would create a new demo, or not demo, but a new solution file here. Once we've got the solution file, we can right click, add a new project. I'm going to call it exactly the same, set it the name demo. It will then or it should do. Let's try that again. Add new project demo. Oh, look what I need to watch what I'm doing. So add new products and it asks you what type. I'm going to select console app. There are lots you can choose from, but for most of 
learning after this series we're going to be in the console app i'm going to select c sharp although there are other options and now i can type in the demo name do it twice because you need a folder name and you need a project name so we've now got our new project and we've got our basic c sharp file the first time you run it it will ask you if you want to install extra assets to debug and build just say yes it won't ask you again this is the new dotnet 6 or dotnet 7 default view you may also come across this done differently you may see it like that or you may also see it like that this is the classical c sharp starting point users of .NET Framework will be very familiar with this. You will see this layout in a number of tutorials. It's essentially the same thing. The only bit is that it's important is here. This is the bit that is running. The rest of it is just hidden under the new default configuration. And I can start coding at this point. Console.brightline. Well, just do it slightly different on purpose so we've got two lines the first one that was put in there the second I've added and now I can just run this code so I'm going to run without debugging this time or we could use the F5 control F5 keys and there we go we've got both versions in here thank you for watching this finishes my setup VS code for using C sharp in Linux further tutorials will cover actually coding in C sharp thank you bye